Howdy folks, so why am I out here in the middle of maps on this beautiful uh, Tuesday? Which happens to be a working day, but I know a lot of you took a, a whole uh, five days worth of leave by taking just Tuesday off. And why am I standing in front of a previous generation Iris? Yep, this is a Proton Iris 1.6 Premium Highline. And this is the variant that came out just before the current variant. You can see the new variants uh, in uh, my YouTube here, of course. Uh, just, just toggle down and have a look. This is the one that uh, some, somebody actually, and it made me laugh out loud actually. Uh, he called it the Topeng, to, topeng Perang German. Kalau nampak dari belakang, macam Topeng Perang German ke? The shape looks like a uh, German World War II helmet. So yeah, so anyway, here we go. 1.6 VVT Premium and this car of course uh, actually belongs to my buddy Hizri Samsuri better known as Bangau uh, from Kareta.my and he has uh, graciously lent me this car for a day because I lamented about the fact that the new Iris 1.6 does not come with a manual transmission anymore you can only get the manual transmission in the 1.3 standard and uh, Proton Holdings doesn't even have a demo unit of the 1.3 standard. So I had to turn to my buddy Hezeri here. Actually, no, he's gone. He's driven off in my uh, E30. I tried to catch it, but he's fast. Uh, so anyway, yes, thanks to Hezeri, he has decided to lend me this Iris. And why did I want to test a previous generation Iris when I've already tested the current generation Iris? Well, let me just answer that like this. It's a manual. Yep. Here we go, folks. It's a very rare five-speed manual. Proton Iris 1.6. Now, the, pers the new Persona 1.6 has a manual transmission variant, standard variant. Unfortunately, the 1.6 Iris, the new Iris does not. And it's just, uh, the demand is just not there, apparently. So they left it for the 1.3 only. So there's no 1.6 Iris. There's a 1.3 Iris for the new variants, unfortunately. 1.6 tada but for the persona 1.6 there is a standard manual variant so if you could take that gearbox and put it into an iris whoa that's gonna be fun so anyway i'm gonna drive off and uh let you see what it's like actually the interior is quite nice you know this black leather and this this car has already got 44,928 kilometers on it so yeah it's well used but you know what? I've been waiting for this. I know some of you guys have been waiting for this as well. So hey, let's let's go find out together what the manual variant of the Iris is like. Hang on a second. So I'm gonna try putting this GoPro here, and hopefully you can uh, you can see what's going on. Hey, hey there, and let's go. So like I said, Hezri was very lucky to um, to actually get this car. It's very rare, it's very limited. The 1.6 uh, variant is not easy to get. I mean, there are no, there are no, new, no more new ones. So, here you go. <laughs> Iris 1.6 manual, here we go. The door's just locked. Dang. Let's go around. Ah, uh, yes, the handling is sharp. The handling is sharp, but that's gonna, that's vibrating too much. Let me get out of this parking lot and see, maybe it'll get better. I'm not sure about that, but let's check it out. So again, one of the best things about the Iris is the ride and handling, okay? NVH in the car is also very good for a Proton. And when this car came out, we said that a lot, for a Proton, it's, it's, it's really good. And uh, the only thing was that, as you know, as you very well know, I despised the CVT gearbox um, of this generation Iris. It was too loud. <laughs> yeah, there is some pull for this car. Nice. Still smooth, very rev happy. The revs actually stay up and uh, get you let, let the gears match so you don't really have to heel and toe and 
Okay, that's the end of the test drive. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> it's not the end of the test drive. I'm actually just gonna set up my my uh, directions here because I'm a little bit lost as usual. But uh, have a look at the interior since since we're stopped. That's the uh, that's the head unit. Again, I don't quite like these uh, chrome dials. Okay, they're not as bright as they used to be. I guess this is just through wear and tear. But USB uh, ports, dual socket, a, a very small meter cluster, and I remember saying that about the Iris as well when it first when this generation first came out. The meter cluster is actually very small. And if you're sitting like this, okay, this is my driving driving position, right? Wow, it's tiny. I I think the meters on my on my bike are actually are actually bigger. But uh, sorry, my phone was just there. And uh, but yeah, here we go. I'm gonna. Just let you have a look at this for a little while. Check out the back seat. Right. So, there you go. Let's put it in here. Ah, he's got my fingers again. This, this holder is really violent. Okay. Right. So, okay. Heading out on the highway. Let's see what this car can do. No, I'm not going to race this car. I mean, it's a we're on public roads for goodness sake. small tunnel that the lights came on the automatic lights came on wow automatic lights automatic wipers so like I've always said the iris offers really good value for money it really does and the new ones are what about 50k more than 300 improvements what's not to like Six. Shift up. Hello. Wow. You know, I knew this thing was going to be better than the than the CVT. I just knew it, and I'm not disappointed. Oh, hello. Downshift. Even so. Yes. And what for value for money wise now this this car you can't buy it new anymore it's it's all second hand now so what the price is going to be about I, I don't know what's the price of an iris what can what kind of price can you put on this car it is so rare and there's so few of them I think you could just basically name your price okay I'll take that with a pinch of salt but oh the revs it just wants to rev VVT engine don't forget and it keeps the revs up. Oh, yes. Oh, ho, 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 ho. handling is still good. Handling is still good. Fourth gear acceleration. Ah, it's just going. 4,005 RPM, 5,000. Whoa, ho, ho. keeps the revs up. Downshift. Woo oh, yes, Iris. <laughs> Oh my goodness, yes! <laughs> I knew it was gonna be like this! Downshift, heel and toe, yes! Come on, baby! Ooh, 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 I love it! <laughs> oh, yes! Listen to that, yeah! Oh, I knew it, I knew it! Yeah, charge into a corner. Okay. Oh, sharp corner coming up. Downshift, heel and toe. Yes, yeah, keep the revs up. Turn in. Mm. Bike. Yes. Oh. <laughs> this is a Proton Iris. Oh my goodness. Look at the handling. 
I'm taking this at 100 kilometers an hour. It's almost a U-turn. Yeah, baby. <laughs> I've been looking forward to this for a long time, so I'm enjoying it. Oh, the handling of this car. Yeah. This is what it could be. This is what the Iris can be. Proton, please make the new Iris with a manual. Uh, uh, call it a, a motorsports version. I don't care. But, oh my goodness. This, this gearbox in the new Iris, I would buy one. I tell you now, I would buy one. Oh, yes. Oh, red light. Downshift. Oh no, not for me. Okay, it's for the turning. Listen to the revs. 4,005, 5,000, 5,005, 6,000. Upshift. Corner. Downshift. Turn in. Ooh. Upshift mid corner. Slam it. Yeah, baby. <laughs> this is what it could be. This is what the iris needs to be. Oh man. Slow down. Heel and toe. Match the revs. Jump. Oh. That's it. That's all I needed to know. Ezra, you can take your car back. That's all I needed to know. Please, Proton Holdings, please. Take the 1.6 Persona manual gearbox, chuck it in the iris. I will buy, I'll buy the first one. Okay, how's that? Oh, call it an R version. You've already got the R in the iris, it's in red, right? So you might as well. Oh, hot hatch personified. Serious. Serious, no joke, no bullshit, okay? I'm very critical of Proton, but if they could... The, the new Iris is nice. I mean, it's really a good value for money car at 50K, but with this gearbox and not that CVT... Oh, man. I know you didn't say anything else. Okay, that's it. That's it. Juvenile delinquency over. My point has been proven to myself, actually, more than anything else, but I'm so glad you're here with me. Like I said, I love this interaction, so let's keep it going. And uh, I don't know if this car is for sale, but it could be one of these. Uh, remember, I said I was going to test new car, uh, used cars. This is a used car, forty-four thousand kilometers on it already. And I don't know, Hezri, do you want to sell it? So if you want to make an offer in the comments, <laughs> and I'll tell it to Hezri, and maybe he'll he'll want to sell it. But uh, you know what? I might be first on the list. Yes, nice. I've been wanting to drive this one point six Iris for the longest time. And now I'm just cruising along the revs at 200, 2,000 RPM, 5th gear, 80 kilometers an hour, 2,000 RPM. Cruise sedately, NVH is good. Big bump coming up. No problem. No problem. Another big bump coming up. Bad road. You can feel it a bit, but still, for that kind of handling, hmm, so worth it. So, so worth it. Let's see, auto lights, auto wipers. Nice uh, infotainment system. Damn, really. Uh, if you want to buy this car, hit me up in the comments. I'll put you in touch. Maybe, maybe Ezri wants to sell it. Who knows? You never know. And uh, mm, but like I said, I might be the first one on the list. But Proton Holdings, make the new Iris 1.6 a manual. Make it into a sport version. I'll put my name. I'll put my name on the dotted line. I would. Very nice. Okay. Till the next time, I'll see you guys later. Yeah, I'm very far from home now, so it's gonna it's gonna take a while for me to get back and I'm gonna enjoy this car a lot more. Damn. Fifth gear. Put your foot down. Fifth gear. And it'll accelerate. Nice. Very nice. Okay, see y'all later folks. Bye-bye.